1,002, 1,003, 1,004. What up, Jake? 1, oh, it's out. It's out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll get rid of that. Ooh, let that burn on out. Whoa, there we go. Welcome. Do I need to ask? Don't ask. Good Don't to see ask. you, buddy. Hey, you're all wet. Yeah. You're kind of damp. My shoes wet. are kind of wet. Can I throw them in your dryer real quick? You want to put those shoes in my dryer? Yes, please. Oh, no, 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 Don't do that. Let's go to the desk. Let's right. go to the desk. We'll tend to that the wizard way. I don't want to put those good shoes in my dryer. They're dry as a bone. You're starting to dry off. A little bit. But the shoes, they're yeah. still quite... Uh, they're oh yeah, sopping. They're still, they're still, they're still wet. And you want to put them in the dryer, right? Yeah. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. No, why not? When, you, when shoes dry out normally, what's the first part to dry? I'd imagine the upper. The upper right? part? Yeah, they, oh, mm -hmm. we call it the upper. So if we dry out the upper real fast, the inside's still going to be wet. And that shoe is going to start to do this. Have you, have you warp. seen that? You okay. seen warp shoes after they dry? When they right. wet shoes? And probably on inexpensive shoes, it wouldn't matter that much, right? But if right. you've got some of those fancy shoes that you use, a few hundred bucks a pair, mm -hmm. probably want to treat them a little more tenderly. Right. So I want to demonstrate the wizard way of speed drying a pair of shoes. The wizard way, okay. The wizard way, because I don't want to just get it dry from here and then wait for the rest of this to swell out. And I want to try to get the whole thing to dry at the same time. Well, how do we plan on doing that? Let's get some stuff out. Grab that plate over there on the floor, and I'll get this pump. It's a vacuum pump. That's a vacuum plate. Oh, you see that big bell jar over there? Yeah. Yeah, we need that. And that fits right on there. And this is a vacuum pump that we'll plug in. Uh, magically find an extension cord here somewhere. I don't know. There you go, this plug. Yeah. Let's have a hand for the electricians here, ladies and gentlemen, the electricians. Thank you. They sit over there and drink coffee all day, and then we finally need one, right? Sorry we had to wake you up. Oh, they still got their coffee over there. <laughs> this will draw down the pressure, okay. create a vacuum, and the air pressure in here will go down quite a bit, actually. Okay. We need some safety glasses. Where might those be? Safety glasses. Safety glasses. Oh, oh that, that's you, man. That oh. is you. Gucci. I've got mine on. So right now, there's 15 pounds of air pressure pushing down on every square inch. And that's what's holding the water on that shoe is air pressure like this. As a matter of fact, let me grab, grab this. See that bowling ball right up here? Can you grab that? I'll catch you if you fall. No, I won't catch you. I'll catch you on the bounce. <laughs> here, hand me that. Catch that me on the bounce. This weighs 14.7 pounds. Okay. And there's a square inch on the bottom. And the air pressure that we live under, 14.7 pounds on every square inch on that shoe. That's a lot of pressure. I'd say so. Well, if we could lighten the load and get rid of this 14.7 pounds, that water that was being pushed on is gonna go like that. It's just gonna fly off there. So if we put the shoe in there, the water will leave? They'll leave, it'll boil away. Okay. But you might, you might not be able to see it boiling on here. So before we put the shoe in, I'm gonna demonstrate it with just a beaker of water. Let's do it. Okay, well, you're gonna have, here comes a beaker of water. Here he is, the electrician's back with a beaker of water. Let's give him a hand. So let's see if we can get this off now. Now we can, we'll take that on there. So let's set the beaker right here. And you wanna put that over the top? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can kind of feel it nesting mm -hmm. down in here. Remember, 15 pounds per square inch on the surface of that water. All right. And we're gonna lower that pressure quite a bit. Well, let's just see if we, what will happen to the rate to turn that on. Okay. What's it's happening? Starting, it's starting to bubble, huh? Starting to bubble. Now, are we adding heat to that? Nope. We didn't add heat, but we took the pressure off the top. All right. Well, that's really going, isn't it? We got a good vacuum, okay. I better shut it off so I don't suck water into my vacuum pump. But wasn't that amazing? That is pretty insane. So let's take this apart. No, I gotta let the pressure off. Pressure release valve, yeah. huh? I'd be okay. pulling on that all day. Ah, the air's going back in. Ah, oh, I feel so much better. You get to be my age, that noise is very common. It's pretty snug. And then there's a well, that is on cup there. of water in there. You hold down the plate. There, there we go. Ah, oh, I feel so much better. I've got that. Ready to do this. Okay, we're gonna put your very expensive shoe in here. And I'll set the bell jar down. Just kind of lean it up in there. There we go. Turn it on. I don't see anything, do you? No, no. 
of course, all this is happening at a, at a molecular level, right? So we'll leave it there for a while. Well, Alf, what do you think? Should we check it out? Yeah, let's see. I'll turn off the pump. Let some air back in there. You should be able to get that bell jar off there. Here, I'll lift it up and you grab that shoe. All right. Well, check that out, huh? It's dry. Well, of course it's dry. Wizard. Oh, wizard life, huh? I'm amazed. Hmm. Well, I think that's something we should just do with all of our shoes every time they get wet. What do you that's think? That's what I'm saying. I'd love to do this at home, but it's not like you can go to Ace Hardware and find any of this stuff. How would I go about doing this if well, I wanted to Well, you gotta to go this? to Wizard Ace Hardware, of course. What's Wizard Ace Hardware? Oh, you don't know? Well, yeah. I can't tell you. So I tell you what, we can make a home version of this. How do we make a home version of this? I bet with a vacuum cleaner, some sort of container, and a way to connect them together, we can make a, a primitive form of a shoe drying chamber. So we're gonna take this apart and uh, go find some stuff in the house and make a homemade one. All Let's right? do it. Let's do that. All right. You found a chamber. Uh, yep. Yeah, and I found a vacuum. If you hear my wife coming, let me know. I didn't ask permission. Check this out. I don't know what this is. It's just a tote, it's I guess. Like a, right? Yeah, it's like a big Tupperware. Put a piece of plastic on here. Okay, so you made a hole. Made a hole. There, and we made a hole here. Made a hole here. So the air comes in from here. Yeah, and goes. And out through there. Out there to the vacuum. Got it. And you notice that little piece of cardboard tube there? Yep. Put that in there. So if the vacuum gets too strong, it won't mash the lid down, you know. Oh, I got it. Because you remember, there's 15, almost 15 pounds per square inch. Right pushing down even on this lid all the time. Okay. And if I take some air so, away from the inside. Yeah. So this is like one of those things you find when you order a pizza and it oh, sits yeah. on the, top the of the... Oh yeah, pizza shoe. Okay, Make got it. Making like a scientist. Yeah, all right. So put your shoes in there. You got some wet shoes. So we'll put the lid on and then we'll hook up the vacuum. So I'm just gonna take off the hose from the vacuum cleaner. Aha. So we'll hook this up and just turn it on and... I can just let it run for a while. And right now, the pressure on top of those shoes mm -hmm. is a lot less than normal. And the water is going to evaporate a lot faster. Okay. So you can make this at home any style you wanted. You, you know, a shoe box or whatever. But that will dry your shoes out a lot faster. There you go. There you go. I mean, this is an interesting concept. Yes. If it dries shoes, it probably makes sense that it probably dries loose clothes, right? So, yeah. I mean, this is kind of like a, a miniature makeshift clothes dryer. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, Whirlpool probably doesn't want you to know about no, this. <laughs> and I think yeah. the other cool thing about that is it doesn't tumble around and stuff like that. It doesn't that, tumble huh? around. And, yeah. it's, and while, it's get, while it's getting the air on the outside, the water on the outside, it's also getting the water on the inside at the same time. Right. Okay. So, that, so that the shoe doesn't have this chance to curl as much. Right. The elimination of the heat, not yeah. having not having heat as a part of the process, the heat doesn't then uh, weaken the glue. Yeah. Or just beat your shoes up. Right. There we go. By golly, they're dry as a bone. Dry as a bone. <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. Well, I didn't get, again, I didn't get my skating lesson, did I? No, you didn't. It got didn't. rained out. Yeah, we did. Well, we did make something good out of this. No, we really did. We actually made a vacuum chamber. Amazing, right? So if any of you sneakerheads or other normal people come up with a chamber of your own, I'd sure like to see it designed. It'd be hard to beat the wizard design. I don't know. Yeah, so if you come up with something, please post it and tag us. Tag us with the Insta, what is it called? Instagram. Instagram. Whatever that is, you do it. Because I want to I wanna know what you're doing. Well, listen, I'll tell you what. Normally, I would I would keep this as a prized possession, but <clears throat> I want you to take this home. Oh, I can have this. Yeah. All right. I don't usually get my shoes wet that often. That's a, a skating phenomenon or somebody <laughs> outside a lot. <laughs> but I want you to take that home. All right. Thanks again, Jake. I appreciate oh, my it. My pleasure. I'm glad to do this. Anything my to help a skater. My shoes are all dry now. They're nice and dry. And Back cozy. On and I'm always learning something new every time I come here, so I appreciate you, buddy. That's what we do. That's all right. what we do, you know. Thank Good you so you. much. You're welcome. And thanks for inspiring me.
Thanks for inspiring, inspiring me. The, the inspiration is mutual. It's mutual. We're mutually right. inspired. Yeah. So here's your umbrella. Thank you. Might still be dribbling outside. And, uh, oh, uh, goggles. Oh, darn it. Now, you want my goggles, don't you? Yeah. Uh, no, they, those are my goggles. I thought they went well with my shoes. They do. They make you stylish. Appreciate you, we buddy. give you that nerd look going, along with that cool skater look you got there, you know? So thanks a lot. You try it at home, okay? Yeah. Yeah, but no, no, not oh, that was mine. My wife <laughs> kill me first and then get you. So we'll see you later. Take it easy, buddy. You behave yourself, would you? Good. I got to sit down here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's hard being a wizard. So many problems. So many people in need. That's what we do. Yep. That's what we do. Sneaker. Sneaker. Science. Science.